this, this is sort of what I do on a daily basis. I, I get in the paddock, make sure my staff are cutting it at beer can height, and you've got to get on your knees and have a look and see what's going on. Look, like here I found a ryegrass plant, and I hold him up like that, and he's been completely cut off. There's no survivors. Um, so that's, that's there. I've probably only got one or two ryegrass to the square metre. I look over here a bit more, and here's another ryegrass plant over here. See, there's a ryegrass plant that's had all these tillers cut off. But then if we look closely, I find one that must have been laying on the ground. He's beat the system. And as you can see, it's got some viable seed in it. That one's beat it, but bear in mind, that's, it's a percentage game. I'm, as long as I get 90, 95%, I'm happy. Yeah, and, and here's a radish plant sitting up, like I said, his, his Achilles heel is, all the pods are on the plant and they're all high in the canopy. And we'll see what happens when the header goes through there. Yeah, this is all that's left of that radish plant. Now we'll go and see if we can find the ryegrass where I put a cross on the ground where the ryegrass plant was. And there we go, look, we've, we've actually got 100% of the tillers off that ryegrass. So they've all gone in the destructors. And there's one next to it, same thing. So yeah, I'm happy with that. This is Flinders barley. It's one of the semi-dwarf barleys. I grow bass barley and flinders. One of the real attributes of the dwarf style crops, for those blokes that don't want to cut real low, uh, it, the weeds like ryegrass and that express themselves out the top of the canopy because they go out and get the light. And that means when you cut low in a dwarf crop, you really do get 90% of the weed seeds into the HSD.